just when Slumdog Millionaire bags four Golden Globe Awards and recent release in Mumbai, a debate has sparked why is the Western world so obsessed with the slum scene in India? While some on the other hand say, why do Indians care about the West views anyway? Hello and welcome. I'm Ruchi Mukherjee, your Houston correspondent here at the Shangri-La Art Gallery to ponder and debate on these questions. This is Talking Points. Hi, I'm John B. Tacker. I'm a broadcast journalist. I work for NPR, currently taking a break with my a toddler, two-year-old, and getting two-year-old now, so I'll get back to work soon. My name is Joe Layden. I am a film critic and correspondent for the trade paper Variety. I'm also contributing a writer for Movie Maker magazine, and I teach film history courses here in Houston at the University of Houston and Houston Community College. I'm Jim Houston. I'm a working actor. I just uh, I've been teaching at Rice University and the University of Houston. Uh, in the theater department. I am s former president of Houston Screen Actors Guild on the national board of Screen Actors Guild and I am a screenwriter. Uh, my name is Atol Veer. I'm the owner uh, of the Shangri-La Art Gallery where this event is taking place. Our gallery promotes uh, local artists and also has art from, uh, from uh, Asia as well as, e as uh, Eastern Europe. My name is Sonal Butcher. I am by profession a physical therapist. Uh, someone that grew up in Bombay for and have lived here in the US for the last 26 years. I currently am the president of the Fort Bend ISD Board of Trustees. People in India and blogs say the movie has everything that symbolizes India for the Westerner. Slums, the Taj, rusty trains, Bollywood, even a BPO. <laughs> I'll start with you Joe being a film critique is when you watch Slumdog Millionaire, what went through your mind? Well, I, I've actually seen several other films set in India, so I, I, I know there's more to the country than maybe the view you see in Slumdog Billionaire. But to me, uh, the film nevertheless presents a vast teeming canvas of life at the, uh, the greater heights and the darkest lows in Mumbai. It's in many ways a romanticized view, it's a melodramatic view, but to me it's sort of like, you know, Charles Dickens reset in contemporary Mumbai. It's, uh, I don't think, meant to be taken as a realistic story. It is, uh, it, it, it's sort of like demanding that Dickens would have been uh, more balanced in his depiction of, of, of London in David Copperfield. Uh, to me, it, it's, a, it's a, a sort of a pop epic, a modern day epic. Uh, it may take some liberties with uh, absolute hard fact, but it's a fable. It's a fable about a young man who rises from abject poverty to not only uh, amass a great fortune, but to regain the woman he loves. I mean, and it's a story that really could have been set uh, in Africa. It could have been set in, I dare say, any country in the world where there is, you know, this vast economic gap that, uh, you know, polarizes aspects of society. People in India have not liked it. They felt it as it was a portraying a bad image of not just Mumbai, but it, it just, they felt they were looked down upon. They felt they were like something gross. Uh, your thoughts? I understand from the point of view of someone who grew up there. I, actually, when I watched the film, the first hour, I stood up three times because I thought, I can't watch this. This is too close to home. And I had to get up, and my 24-year-old uh, daughter said to me, sit down and watch the movie. And I did. And as I gave it more thought, yes, it's a beautifully made film. It's got some very poignant moments. It's got some very positive messages. For a moment, it, I took it as a personal affront being from India or from Bombay. 
But that's not what it's about. It's a beautifully made film. Yes, it depicts the canvas that is India. It depicts the great disparities that exist. And maybe people in India will look at it as, oh, we're just being uh, portrayed about the, neg the negative aspects that we have. But that's not all. I think people need to look beyond that. People need to look beyond the fact that it has come to world attention now, and we shouldn't be ashamed of it. We've done, India has risen above so many challenges in the last 60 years. And yes, the world is aware of it. And yes, the world will continue to focus on how well we are doing, but also that this exists not only in India, but in Latin America and Africa and the Far East. And, you know, if you see City of Joy from Brazil, that was a focus on some of the negative aspects of Brazil. But that's humanity. You make a murky story, a sad story on abuse or slums, where I'm not just saying India, anyway, say it's a sure cut to winning an award. What, do we, what would you say on that? Mm, not necessarily, but uh, I mean, it's like playing somebody who's insane or mentally disturbed. You're guaranteed an Oscar nomination because nobody knows the reference. You know, nobody knows, I am Sam, how are you supposed to behave? So, yeah, uh, chances are it, it, it would get uh, recognition. But uh, one thing I, I want to say is that I don't think... Um, movies are intended to be either Chamber of Commerce pieces or, um, or anything like that. The, the people who make movies are not thinking in terms of representing a particular country. Uh, they, they want drama. Drama is conflict. So they're grabbing elements. And this, this movie that we're talking about, Slumdog Millionaire, has uh, disparate elements, hugely disparate elements. So it becomes a great way to uh, create drama, conflict. And uh, we, we go through a million emotions by the end of the movie. So uh, just because um, we portray the dark side, uh, Slumdog Millionaire didn't just portray the dark side. It, it portrayed side. It portrayed hope. It portrayed uh, possibility of romance, possibility of love, um, a, a lot of things. So you can start with a strong contrast in a movie and, and have these dark, frightening elements. But uh, in this particular movie, you get to a good place and everybody at the end of it walks out smiling. Um, at least I did. From an artistic standpoint, give your views on the movie. And when people in India are saying that don't call us dogs, or we felt as if a Westerner came and showed some dirt of our house, which we, did, we, we don't approve. Well, yes, uh, I can see that the movie is going to be uh, controversial, and it is. Um, having said that, I think one cannot deny that uh, the movie is realistic. Uh, there are slums in India. We from India have visited and know and been to slums. And uh, I do not believe that just because a Westerner has shot the movie that we should be so self-conscious to go into denial. Um, th these, are, these are realities. Uh, we know crime exists. We know uh, some of the horror scenes about, about children, they exist. Um, in the, and so, so the question, of course, occurs, why India? I think it, it focuses on India. The movie is about India. I've heard some comments. Uh, people say, well, how come it's, we even have it in Europe and over here? The question is, we have it in India, and it is reality, um, and we should accept it. I think we have to here understand the fact that uh People who live in India, for them, movie going is sort of going into a world of escapism. They don't want to see poverty. They want to see romance, song and dance, the Bollywood masala, because for them, that's the, those are the three hours of relaxation and peace and some love story. They see poverty everywhere. So when poverty is sort of portrayed as a reality, again, we have to understand this is not a documentary. Then they sort of get too defensive, which some Indians have, and take it personally because it is picturized by somebody not Indian. I think the underlying fact is that they are not trying to glorify poverty or uh, 
bring out the bad image of India. It's just a beautiful picturization and a very well-made story. And we should appreciate the fact that um, somebody did this in such a lovely manner. I, I'm a little amused that so many people have singled out the scene where uh, the young boy falls into the excrement and digs his way out. And, and oh, this is a terrible depiction of uh, poverty in India. You know, we have bathrooms, you know, you, why are you showing this? Well, to me, that scene is sort of like a visual shorthand. It's, it's a portent. The idea that this kid's indomitable spirit is such that he is going to literally dig himself out of the excrement. And he is literally going to, even while covered with it, you know, pursue his dreams, his ambitions. But it's also, I think, uh, a telling point that the big movie star, the Bollywood star, whose autograph he wants, 